Hi, this is Maya with Rico. This video is about Save Search folders and how to interact with the Save Searches browser view. As you can see here, I've navigated to our Save Searches browser, the little magnifying glass here. And this is our folder list that is available to us. You may not have any folders yet in your Searches browser, but that's okay because you can make them by right-clicking on the root folder and selecting the Create button. And this will make a new folder which you could name. Here's a few folders that I've created here as an example for some organization. At the very top, we have our admin searches. You can see this is a secured folder because it has um, a little padlock, a little tiny padlock icon there within the folder icon. This means that this is a secured folder from somebody in the workspace, and in this case, this is secured from all of the reviewers um, and case admins, just for our system admins to organize all of the work that we've been doing in the database behind the scenes. We could also make pre-production searches. This will help us get ready for our production and identify our inconsistently coded documents. Other features in Relativity will also create searches for you. Um, here we have the list searches. This is a folder that's automatically created when you're using the lists and you create a new saved search from a list in the lists tab. Whenever you run a production set, Relativity automatically creates your production folder and populates this search per each production set. So you may have many production sets and they will all be listed here under the production folder for you and it will return all of the documents that were produced in that set with the you know, information about that production. Now here I have a folder that is actually brand new. I just created it. It's called user searches. This might be a search that you would find useful in your database to create subfolders for each individual who is making searches in the database. Um, if you don't create folders and save searches in folders, they will sort here at the very bottom. And these are just loose searches in the root of the newsletter demos folder. So if you wanted your reviewers, or maybe you were going to organize by phase of review, for instance, um, you can make a new subfolder and then you can start nesting folders within that. What I did there is I went to, I right clicked and I selected create. We have a number of options in our right click menu. Some of these you may not see depending on your permissions, but these are all the choices that are available. So you can talk to your case admin about which features are right for you and your team. So as you can see here, I didn't name that folder, it just gave it a generic new search folder name. But I'm going to name this search by selecting the rename option. And I'm just going to put it, um, call it Maya for my name, and I'm going to organize my searches within this subfolder. So to create a search in a subfolder, you select the folder you want your searches to be saved in, and you select either the new search or you select the new search button when you right click in your little contextual menu. Give it a name and hit save and search and you can see that there is your search that is sorted um, alphabetically for you. If you made this search private other people wouldn't be able to see it and again to do that you select the owner as me and this will now become private. So if someone else looked in my folder, they wouldn't be able, for better or worse, to see my search, except for maybe a system admin who can view your personal items. So if you're gonna share your search, remember, edit that, make it public, and everyone will be able to see it easily. Some other features within this folder browser is the filter option. So if I wanted to see all of the searches that um, have to do with, for instance, our productions, I can filter for part of what might be the search name, and you can see a lot of different options are available. 
along with this, we can filter by specific fields pertaining to our searches. We can search for all of the searches created by a specific user, or we can look for created on, last modified, who the owner of the search is, whether it's public or in this case, I could, this is another way to search for my own searches. And keywords and notes are fields that you can populate in your saved searches to track your um, searches. So if you wanted to develop tags for querying on specific searches, you can do that in your searches as well and search for those values here. Clear out my filter. Now, another really great feature is this button here at the top. This allows us to do mass actions on our searches. So if, and search folders. So if I wanted to do a little cleanup of the searches that I've created, I can select these searches that are located in the root folder and just kind of hanging out there in the world. And I can execute a mass move action. Find my pop-up, select the folder that I want to move them to, and when I hit OK, it's going to update our view and it's going to store all of those searches. Now we've cleaned up um, the Save Searches folder browser and it looks a little tidier. Another moment when um, the mass actions will come in handy is being able to do the mass copy. So if we wanted to use our pre-production searches in preparation for a new production, we can actually create our new production folder and we can copy our existing Prado 1 searches and move them to our Prado 2 folder. So here I've selected all the searches I'm going to move. Select that move action again. I'm going to move it to my new prod folder. And here we are preparing for our next production, Prado 2. We can start modifying these searches to suit our needs and it's a quick and easy way to you know, maintain a consistency in your work product by copying searches and moving them and organizing them so you stay neat and tidy and your brains don't explode when you're trying to find something in the database. So that's the skinny on saving searches, getting organized, searching, finding, moving, copying, all of the things. And uh, thanks so much for joining me today. Happy reviewing.